everybody, welcome to Claria Yoga. I'm Claire. I'm offering you a restorative yoga sequence today to balance adrenal fatigue. Um, so our adrenal glands tend to be in overdrive and those glands are responsible for um, kick-starting the stress response. And uh, it's also called the fight or flight response. Now in old days, um, such as caveman times, that response would kick in to help with situations such as running from um, a saber-toothed tiger, for example. And so those uh, times where the fight or flight response would kick in tended to be um, up and down. So there'd always be a rest phase and then followed by another um, response, a stress response. Well, today with how we live and the amount of stress that we tend to be under, we're pretty much all up here. So we have that continuous fight or flight response with very little time to come back down again and experience our body's natural um, relaxation time, so rest time, when the parasympathetic nervous system kicks in to, to help balance that. So this sequence is going to help encourage you to rest. It will help to balance that stress response, which you might be under quite a lot during your day. So I hope you enjoy it. So what you'll need today are quite a few props. So you really want to make sure that your body is supported and comfortable. So ideally have a bolster, a couple of blankets, and about four blocks. Now, if you don't have um, a bolster, you can use a chair instead for the first pose. And I'll explain how you come into it. And if you don't have yoga blocks, then you can use a stack of cushions. And lastly, have an eye pillow handy. Now, eye pillows have got that weight in it, which can feel very, very comforting. So if you don't have an eye pillow, you can, of course, use a scarf or you can make your own by pouring a little sand into some old si uh, tights or an old sock but the eye pillow is is basically just to filter out the light and it, that minimizes the stimulation so Ooh. let's get into it now starting with the first pose this is going to be a variation of a forward fold in butterfly legs and every part of your body is going to feel supported in that posture so you're going to start by bringing two blocks or cushions, and I'll give you my side view so that you can see, either side of you, and I like to place a blanket on top of that just so that it doesn't feel so hard against my thigh. And you do the same on the other side, just creating that height for yourselves. Now, restorative yoga can take some time in its setup but I promise you that the effects are well, well worth it. Okay, so what you're going to do here is you bring the soles of the feet together, more or less. It doesn't really matter if they touch or not. The most important is that when you bring your knees out to the side, they feel completely supported. So you're relaxing from the hips all the way down into your feet. If already at this stage you feel a little hard against the floor underneath your sitting bones, then you can also sit up on a cushion or another blanket. Your bolster is going to help to support your upper body. So if you're particularly tall in the torso, you may find that the length of a bolster is a little too short and you're unable to get down and you start feeling that pulling sensation as you begin to stretch. So we're trying not to stimulate in restorative yoga. You really do want to feel like you're resting. So you can take extra padding and you can actually place it underneath your bolster to lift it up and then you can judge for yourself the height that is appropriate for your bodies. Also, if the bolster is just not suitable for you, this is where you may find it more helpful to use a chair. So with the chair in front of you, you would also just be able to rest your head down and you could also place as many pillows and cushions on your chair as you wanted to, to support your forehead. So with your bolster, you're going to angle it more or less and just bring your head to rest. Now, it might take a while to get into that comfortable position, so please take your time. You can always pause the video until you find your way with it. 
Now with your arms, I always feel very comfortable just allowing my arms to rest in front of me. If this is too much for your shoulders, you can always bring your elbows on top of your legs and just allow the arms to hang there. Okay, so when you're ready, you're going to take a nice long inhalation and release it with a lovely sigh. Now once in a while, I will be checking the clock. For now, you rest here. I'm giving you plenty of silence and time. And I will guide you out when it's time to come out. Let everything go as you give your body to gravity and you enjoy that feeling of support. You may find your mind begins to wander. Try not to get involved in your thoughts, just allow your thoughts to come and go. You just sit there, observing the thoughts, letting them pass. You may notice that your breath has started to calm and soften and see if you can also bring a little control into it now, slowly lengthening each inhalation and exhalation. Just finding a little more space between each breath.
If you find you've drifted off, I invite you to come back to the space that you're in and come back to your body. And count five long breaths here. Take your time with each breath. Okay, so when you're ready to move, you're just going to place your hands around your bolster to hold onto it so that it doesn't fall on top of you. Then you gently come out of your posture by slowly straightening up through the spine. Take a deep inhalation there and slowly sigh it out. Okay. And we're going to transition into your next posture. So just place your bolster to the side and keep that gentleness and that calm. Hopefully you're really beginning to feel that throughout your whole being. And you can start to release your legs here. So once you've released your legs, you can free up the blankets and the blocks or the cushions. And you're going to bring your bolster behind you. You just want a little bit of height here. So I like to use two yoga blocks. And this is a height that I'm comfortable with. You just want your heart to be higher than your hips. That's what you're aiming for here. You've got that downward energy going from the head all the way down towards the floor. And that helps to ground you, ground the mind. So you're moving away from your head So again, if you feel quite hard against the floor, and I tend to for this one, you can bring a blanket underneath you so you feel a little more comfortable. Make sure you've got your eye pillow handy. And you're going to start by lying back and that should feel really nice and comfortable in the body. Now, the neck is really important in restorative yoga we tend to just cope with an uncomfortable neck and you really don't want to have to do that. So if you feel any level of discomfort at all, you can just create a tiny little roll which you then place behind you on top of that bolster. And you might have to shuffle around to get it right. Okay. And then you can lie back and you just tuck that little roll underneath the neck and that should feel really lovely and supportive for your neck and your head. So lastly, taking your eye pillow or your scarf, whatever you're using, you place that over your eyes and you begin to filter out the light there. And if you're using the eye pillow, then that lovely comforting weight should start to ease down towards your eyes. Now, if your arms are feeling a little unsupported, remember that you can also use an extra block or two or a cushion for your arms. So as I said, it takes a little time to set up a restorative yoga pose, but once you find your way with it, it is a wonderful thing, a wonderful gift to give yourselves just a few minutes of rest. So take your time 
If you've paused the video, that's fine. Take as much time as you need to find your way with your posture. And then you take a nice deep breath in. And a lovely long sigh. Drawing the energy and the mental tension away from your head, just following this incline down your spine, grounding your energy deep into the earth beneath you. Relax your jaw, soften your belly, If you find your mind begins to interfere again, draw your awareness away from your head, down into your breath, just observing your body as it breathes, as it lies here, tuning into that space between each breath. Can you bring in a little more control to your breathing now? Really slowing it down. And from here, just start to count five 
long breaths, taking your time with each one. Now when you're ready, you're going to bring a little movement into your body. So just beginning to bend your knees and placing your feet on the floor. You want to allow the light to filter back in very gently. So you can begin to bring your hands to your eye pillow or your scarf and slowly begin to lift just allowing that light to filter through your closed eyelids. You don't want it to be really quick, so this is why you take the time, otherwise it's a little too abrupt for the body. Okay, so gently lifting that away, take a nice big breath in, and a long sigh. And then you just blink your eyes, just gently blinking until eventually you can open your eyes again. Give yourself some room to one side of your body so that you can roll over nice and slowly. And then you ease yourselves back up into a seat. Taking a moment to come back. And just tuning into how it feels. And then you can open your eyes again. Now that may be enough for you, two poses, and you can carry on with the rest of your day. Just be gentle with yourselves. If you have time to do one more, I'm going to bring you to the wall. So this is um, Viparita Karani, so that's legs up the wall. So I will join you there and all you need to take with you is um, a couple of blankets just to see how your body responds and take your eye pillow again. So we're finishing here with legs up the wall. So it takes a little bit of a shuffle to get into this one. If you're familiar with it, then go right ahead. Just make sure you've got your blankets handy in case you want to place one underneath your hips and one underneath your head. So I always like to start with a nice thick blanket folded over twice and that is where my hips and um, sacrum come. So to get into it, I come and pop my hips on top of the blanket and then ease myself down onto my forearms and elbows, kind of swinging myself around at the same time. And so a tiny little burst of energy here to get into it. But then once I'm there, I'm able to stretch the legs up against the wall. And then I have a little shuffle around to make sure the blanket is comfortably nestled underneath my hips. Now, you may feel that your neck needs that extra support again. So that's what the second blanket is for. It's just creating that little roll again and then bringing that snugly to rest under the head and the neck. Okay, so finally, this is your time for your eye pillow. So you can rest that eye pillow or your scarf over your eyes. And then bring your arms down by the side of your body. I encourage palms facing up because it brings a gentle external rotation into the shoulders there, just keeping a little openness into the chest. It's also a symbolic gesture. Whenever we bring the palms facing up, it's a, a sign of receiving energy. So if you feel like you're in a receiving mood, bringing the
the palms up is a lovely way of just encouraging that freshness, possibility, opportunity into your body, into your being. Okay, so take a deep breath here and a long sigh to sink into it. Just easing your body into the floor and giving into gravity. And in this position, with your legs up and your heart at the level of the floor, you're giving your heart a break. And slowly as the heart begins to calm, it has a similar effect on your nervous system. This is wonderful to help calm and balance anxiety nervous tension, insomnia. I'll give you a couple of minutes of silence now and I, I'll guide you out when it's time. you find you've drifted off, start to become aware of the space that you're in and of your body lying here on the floor. And let's take five long breaths. So take your time as you breathe. Now when you're ready to move, you're going to start with the eye pillows. Bring your hands to your eyes 
And again, slowly, slowly, allowing the light to begin to filter in again through your closed eyelids. You place your pillow to the side and keeping your eyes closed, bring your knees into your chest. Now some of you might feel a tingling sensation as the blood begins to flow through your legs again and down to your feet. Okay, so take another sighing breath. And then start to roll to the side gently. Come to rest in your fetal position on the side of your body. And then using your hands, start to press yourselves back up again, keeping your movements as gentle as possible. Come and join me in a seat. Take a moment to come back. And then from there, you can start a very slow blinking until you're comfortable with opening your eyes. Okay, so that was a longer restorative practice. Now, the more you do that, the more you should begin to find that there's a slow shift in how you feel. Even one of those poses is enough to bring a little bit of balance into your day. But if you can do the full three poses in the whole sequence, then it really does begin to create that balance for you in your body. Thank you so much for joining me. Any questions, do get in touch. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Namaste. Namaste.